is the bloodbath over? And that's what is on the minds of all the investors as Bitcoin got all the way down to 62k. Um, there is a possibility that the bloodbath is not over. I do not believe we will go below 55k. I do not believe that. Too much buy pressure. Too many hodlers. Uh, yeah, so you, you, you just gotta. Whenever they start talking all that fud, you gotta remember 70% of Bitcoin is being hodled by retail. The other 30% is being gobbled up by institutions. Now, because it's out, you know, with the ETFs and they do the, you know, the trading, uh, you know, let's just face it, people who buy ETFs are gonna sell and take profits. But, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna go below 55k. However, that if it does, if it does get all the way down there, uh, you know, I think tw a 20% retracement is like 54, 54, 800, you know, 54,800 is a 20% retracement. Um, so. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to get below 55. That's my mark. I'm going to stick to that, uh, you know. And so, I don't know if the bloodbath is over, folks. It may go a little lower. It hit 62K and it bounced, uh, you know, bounced back up. That doesn't really mean anything. It, it, could, it could pull back some more. We'll find out in the coming the coming days, you know, like later on this evening, tomorrow, we'll find out if it, uh, if 62K was the bottom, we'll know, it's uh, Tuesday now, about Thursday or Friday, we'll know if it was the bottom, and if that's the case, then it's just going to be some sideways action, the moon boy chart says, the secret moon boy chart, says that we should have a retracement, a significant one, uh, and then some sideways action uh, for the foreseeable future. When I say foreseeable, I'm talking about the next week or so. We're not talking about like a super long time. It'll feel like a long time, but it, no, not so much. Uh, the 1st of April... We should start picking back up again, blasting back off. So, you know, we had a couple of weeks here of retracement and sideways chop. Um, all I'm all I'm doing right now is just seeing if 62k was the floor. That's really what what I'm paying attention to. Other than that. If that turns out to be the case, then it's just sideways chop from here on out until uh, the first of April, or first week of April, excuse me. And uh, then we'll start seeing the market move back up. Uh, incidentally, this is a great time for you to pack your bags on some of these coins you've been watching, because gas fees are going to be very, very affordable. Um, and that's just the way it is. But hey, once this uh, once this retracement is over with, Anon, gas fees are going to be horrendous. So you better take advantage of it for the next uh, week or so, week and a half, two weeks. Uh, you better take care of it while you, uh, while you got a chance. Because after that, it's off to the races. Yeah, the secret moon boy chart says that uh, we blast off in April. And so it seemed like to me that's exactly the way this is playing out. I don't want to take too much longer. As always, none of this is financial advice. Do your own research. It's just crypto news and entertainment. 
Uh, nothing exciting right now. Uh, meme coins are slowing down. Altcoins are going sideways. Uh, we're just in that that period right now where things are just kind of, you know, that it was going to retrace. It was going to pull back. You know, uh, you know, there was going to be a cooling off period, a significant one, and that's what we're having right now. So, just take advantage of it. Load, buy on the dip, load up. Whatever you want to say, how you want to say it. And yeah, with that said, you stay frosty out there.